Hey everyone, it's Natalie from This and Nat, or all of This and Nat over on Instagram. I'm a wife and dog mom living just outside of Dallas, Texas. Today we're going to talk about meal prep organization. As a busy person with a full-time job, cooking during the week is just not something that I want to spend time doing. So I've started prepping for a full week of meals on Sundays and I'm going to show you how I do it. From planning to shopping to cooking, this video has it all. So let's get started. The very first thing I do when I plan my meals for the week is to look at what I already have. I go into my fridge first to see what needs to be used up, but I also check my pantry and my freezer to see what I can use that will help me keep within my grocery budget. It's really easy for me to see what we have with the way that my pantry and freezer are organized. I also have a digital tracker for pantry and freezer inventories linked down below if you would like to keep up with your items this way too. After I know what I have, I will sit down and make my meal plan. Now, instead of getting bogged down by planning a meal for each night, like Monday we're having this and Tuesday we're having that, what I do is I count up the total number of meals that I will need. For example, I need 10 dinners for the week because there are two of us multiplied by five days. I figure that I can probably just make three different meals and have plenty of food for 10 total dinners. It's a different concept, but it really helps me to plan things out very quickly. So here is what we are eating this week. And yes, I like to put it on this little magnetic whiteboard on the fridge because it actually helps me a lot and it also helps my husband. And of course, if you have kids, it will help them to see what's on the menu for this week. And it just helps us like rearrange things if needed. So here is what we are having. So tonight is Sunday, so we're just gonna do something special, maybe like a frozen pizza or something, but then we start the meal prep week. So we're gonna have chicken tacos for two nights with some like bell peppers and onions. And then we're gonna use the same chicken and bell peppers and onions to make burrito bowls. We're gonna add some canned beans in there, make it really good and rice. Um, and then we're going to have tortilla pizzas for the weekend. I like to do at least one meal a week that is not perishable so if we end up like eating out with my mother-in-law which sometimes happens we are not wasting a meal we can just kind of move that to the next week or another time like with the tortilla pizzas that just use shredded cheese and pepperonis and tortillas then for lunch this week i just put that at the top here where i'm going to make five portions of some meatballs and veggies and five portions of honey chicken rice and broccoli and then those 10 portions will just be in the fridge and since there's two of us five lunches for the week for each of us we can just grab whatever sounds good that day and eat that so if we want to alternate we can if we want to eat the same thing all five days we can for breakfast i'm going to have oatmeal with peanut butter and i like to put little reese's pieces in it. it's really good if you haven't tried it and it's really filling and so for my snacks my morning snack i'm just going to have a banana and in the afternoon i'm going to have a little like packaged cheese or nuts. If I get hungry, I can have those things ready to go. These days I usually order my groceries for pickup, but sometimes I accidentally wait for too long, like I did on this week, and I actually need to go into the store. But I love that at Sam's you can use scan and go to check out on your phone. This way you can skip the line and head straight out the door when you finish shopping. Let's take a look at this grocery haul. Now it's here on the stairs because I just bought, I brought it in from my car. That's the garage door right there. And rather than like make several trips up the stairs, I'm, I just bring it all in and then take it all up the stairs. I guess I still have to take several trips. But anyway, it was sitting all out here and I was like, well, 
I could just show it right here. Um, so this is for two weeks of eating and you're gonna look at it and go, what, how can you possibly eat two weeks off of this? But remember, I have some stuff in the fridge and freezer, I'm sorry, freezer and pantry that help supplement these things. And then when we buy from Sam's, we buy in bulk, which does save us money but it also means that it's not just for these next two weeks, it's gonna last a little longer. So let's look at what we have. Also, a just about a quarter of that, what I spent, I think which about $112 for two weeks for two people, was toilet paper, it was about a quarter of that budget. So that takes up a lot of money as those toiletry things. All right, so we have some fresh veggies. We've got broccoli and peppers, which are both gonna be used this week. I've got tortillas, which we will use um, this week as well, and like they will last for a good couple of weeks. Nuts, which are gonna be a snack, and so are these little cheeses. I'm trying to do healthier snacks. We've got some ground turkey. I'm gonna use half of that and freeze the other half. Tons and tons of pepperonis. My husband likes to use those, and then we can make little pizzas. Mozzarella cheese, and I will show you what I do with this so that I can not waste it um what i what i do to store the rest of this because i only will keep a part of it in the fridge um more cheese i'm going to make some mac and cheese onions these usually last us for a long long time apples and then bananas which are also for snacks so when you shop in bulk especially at like sam's and costco it can be you can tend to get fewer things fewer like different items for your money but they last longer so it's a little bit of a different way to shop but it's working for us and saving us a lot of money now it always helps me to start with a clean workspace so the first thing that i needed to do after i put away all those refrigerated items was to tidy up the kitchen and as the bass keep pounding on me baby i really want to make you mine I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you, yeah. When the sun goes down and the night skies fall in, do you believe in one time love? Cause deep inside of my wildest dreams, you'll be by my side. When the sun goes down. I also take a lot of care to unpack my groceries in a way that will help me throughout the week. Think of this as taking care of future you. If this means that it takes a little longer because I need to open up items or rearrange things in the fridge or the pantry, I find that it really benefits us in the long run. Food that is readily available is more likely to be eaten and therefore less money and food itself are wasted. We have really been working on finishing up all of the packaged and less healthy snacks in our pantry. It's taking us a long time because we don't want to sit down and just eat them all in one sitting of course, but we're slowly eating things up and then not replacing them or rather buying healthier and more whole foods. I also like to clean out the fridge on Sundays too. Our trash comes Monday morning, so it's the perfect time to reset everything and then check what's still left in the fridge after the last week. A minute until midnight I'm just wondering where you are I have a little tip for you when it comes to saving money on groceries. We buy a lot of things like this cheese in bulk because it's way cheaper per ounce in a big bag. But there's no way with just the two of us that we would finish it before it goes bad. So I will take a large package and pour out a little into a separate container to store in the fridge and then put the rest away in the freezer. 
Shredded cheese like this tastes totally fine from frozen as long as it's cooked into something and not used for something that's fresh like a salad topping. Now it's time to finally get to the cooking. I found it super helpful to write out each item that I needed to cook and prep underneath the appliance that I needed to use with it. This way I could decide which order of cooking made the most sense. I really liked getting all of the thinking out of the way early so that when it came time to actually cook, I could just put on a fun YouTube playlist and enjoy the process of meal prep. All right, you guys, I finally understand the Instant Pot craze. I was able to get cooked shredded chicken from Frozen in under 30 minutes, but I did learn that I need to start freezing my chicken breasts separate from each other because I didn't need to do that before when I used the slow cooker. It didn't matter if they were frozen together or not. So that is my tip for you if you are using an Instant Pot. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one, but baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. Let's talk really quick about meal prep containers and then I'm gonna show you my favorite kitchen hack ever. Now, I know if you have little kids, these might not be the best option for you, but hear me out about these for later on. I love my glass containers with these snap-on lids. In fact, when my mother-in-law moved back into her house after living with us for a little while, she tossed all of her plastic containers because she loved using the glass ones so much more. They clean so well and they work great in the freezer and the microwave. I'll have similar ones linked in the description box. Now, since these containers do get really hot, it's best to microwave them with a cloth underneath them. You can just use a regular dish towel folded in half as long as it doesn't have any metallic in it. So many questions that I want to ask But I can find the reasons why And you always find a small excuse to leave What's your excuse to make me cry? My love was I did my best to clean as I went, but I still had tons of dishes left to hand wash when I was done but I just put on a motivational cleaning video and got right to work.
Okay, here are the fruits of our labor. Lots of different meals and we are gonna eat well all week. I have the turkey meatballs. I decided not to make the vegetables until we're ready to eat these. And I'm guessing that a lot of these will get frozen. We might even use them next week when I make some macaroni and cheese. And then these are the only ones I portioned out, the honey chicken, rice, and broccoli, just because I only have the five containers and we really don't need more right now. I've got peppers and onions all cooked and uh, like taco chicken meat, which we're gonna use for tacos and also burrito bowls. I'll get some beans out of a can, it'll be really good. Um, so yeah, that's it. I think I, I cut up some bananas for a snack. Everything else is already like ready to go. So that was a lot of work, but honestly, I think I'm gonna be so happy throughout the week when I don't have to do anything else or do a lot of cleaning. So if I, it took me, uh, I don't even know, like four hours probably, but that's because I was filming and also I was doing all this for the first time. There was a lot that I had to look up. Like I wasn't sure how to do the Instant Pot. I bet if I did it again with similar things, it would take me two, two and a half hours from start to clean up. So I feel like that is not too bad for a week's worth of meals. So I'm gonna get all this in the fridge. It's all just about cooled off now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I hope you were able to get some recipe ideas and some inspiration to meal prep a little bit in your home this next week. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because I will share what I'm cooking every Sunday in my stories. And all of the recipes that I make are linked over on Pinterest, so make sure to check out my boards for more meal ideas. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.